Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Before I start the story, I want to say thank you to someone. I want to say thank you to Pat from London. Uh, I heard from Pat, and she said thank you for the stories, and she particularly enjoyed the Father's Day stories two weeks ago. And she said it was great to see how fathers love their children in different ways. So Pat, thank you so much for listening. And I hope you enjoy this story also. Now today's story is King Jehoshaphat's victory. And it's taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And as always, I encourage you to read 2 Chronicles chapter 20 so you at home can discuss the whole story and see what points you can come up with. The action text is taken from 2 Chronicles 2015. Listen to me, King Jehoshaphat. Listen, all you people living in Judah and Jerusalem. The Lord says this to you. Don't be afraid or discouraged because of this large army. The battle is not your battle. It is God's battle. Now on to the story. Now, King Jehoshaphat got some troubling news. Some people came to him and said, hey, King, guess what? Big, 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 big trouble. It is not one army. It is not two armies, or it is three armies, the Ammonites, the Moabites, and the Edomites. They have all gathered together, and they are coming to fight us. We are in trouble. What are we going to do? Well, when the king heard this, he was afraid. He knew his army was no match for all those people all together. So he said, you know what? Hmm, it is prayer time. So first he said, he said, no eating, no eating. It's going to be prayer and fasting. And he knelt and he prayed to God. He said, Lord, you have to help me. And one day they got together where they prayed to God and the king said, Lord, you know, you know, we always, you know, trust you. These people are people who blocked us. Remember when we were trying to get from Egypt to the promised land, they blocked us and, and we just turned around and now they're trying to take the land. Lord, everything we need, you know, you have given to us. What can we do? We depend upon you. And he was praying, praying, praying. But Jehaziel, all of a sudden, he said, hey, you guys, come, 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 come. Come on now. You guys should not worry about this. It's not your battle. The battle belongs to the Lord. He will take care of you. They see the spirit of the Lord went upon him. And he said, look, you are not even going to have to fight these people. He is going to take care of everything for you. So tomorrow... Go down, get yourself ready, and see what happens. He even told them where to go. He said, you know, they have to pass this way. So let's go and see what happens. So they were prepared. The people listened. And the next day, they were on their way. But the king decided, you know what? We have to build faith. And they started to sing. They started to march. And they went knowing fully well that the Lord was going to take care of their battle. Now, what happened is the three armies, the Lord confused them. And they start fighting one another until they just wiped each other out. So by the time the, the people of God got there, all they saw was a set of dead people, and they had bounties. And when I say bounties, boys and girls, they were things. They were things on the people that they could carry away, food, riches. A whole, there were so many things to carry away that it took them 
three days to gather them all up, to take away. But they did not forget God. On the fourth day, they had a big celebration thanking God for the victory. Now, there are points to remember. We will face great challenges in life. But anytime we face these challenges, we should pray about our difficulties. Why? Because it is not our battle. The battle belongs to the Lord. And he can handle all battles. All right, boys and girls. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it will say something like this. Jehoshaphat was told of a pending fight and thought this hmm, will not end right. So he immediately began to pray about the battle which was coming his way. His confidence grew as he went along and on the morning they burst in song. Their victory showed that no battle is too large. Anytime we place our Lord in charge. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one, which group did not fight against Jehoshaphat's army? Did not fight. Is it A, the Ammonites? B, the Korhites? C, the Edomites? Or D, D, the Moabites. What is the answer? And if you say B, the Korhites, you are correct. Question number two. When the king heard of a large army, when the king heard a large army was coming his way, what did he do? A, he prayed to God and asked for help. B, he reached out to other armies for reinforcement. C, he told his army that extra preparation and practice was needed. Or D, he decided to visit Trinidad and Tobago. What is the answer? And if you say A, he prayed to God and asked for help, you are Correct. Question number three. Who told Jehoshaphat that the battle was the Lord's? Was it A, Elijah, B, Elisha, C, Jehaziel, or D, Jeremiah? What is the answer? And if you say C, Jehaziel, you are correct. And finally, question number four. Jehoshaphat won the battle since A, his small army was more talented. B, his army had better weapons. C, God sent the combined army to fight another country. Or D, God confused the enemy and they fought among themselves. What? is the answer. And if you say, D, God confused the enemy and they fought among themselves, you are, of course, correct. All right, boys and girls, thank you for taking the quiz. And now it is prayer time. So let us bow our heads, let us close our eyes, and let us talk to our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we are confident that you will continue to fight our battles. We thank you for all you do, and we will continue to trust you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, once again, I thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And if you want to email me, my email address is UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. But as always, 
please receive your parent's permission before writing. And of course, if someone shared the story with you and you want to say, hmm, I want to get the story myself, you can. All you got to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel, Chronicles of Comfort, and anytime the story is released, you will, you will get it all for yourself. And then you might be able to share it with someone. All right. Well, once again, I thank you for being with me here today. And as you go through the, the week, always remember that God loves you very much. Bye for now.